A shalom, all praises be unto Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Rechak Wadash. Double honor unto the elder apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone who are well and who taught us his truth. Salutes unto the Akim who continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect and the brothers and sisters who are also listening and learning at this time. And um, this is something I was just thinking upon earlier. And I said, you know what? Let me commit it to video. Lord willing, it's edifying. Um, and it's the simple fact that this truth came at a cost. Okay? This truth came at a cost. And we must value uh, the truth. Um, you know, as the elder apostle Kubar oftentimes says, this thing of ours, we have to value it and take hold of it with a firm grip both hands sincerely and dearly <laughs> as it were because um this truth came at a cost man uh so i just got two quick precepts this is the book of revelations chapter five and i'll start from verse one and it says and i saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals now him that sat on the throne is speaking of the heavenly father yahweh Okay, and the book that was in his right hand is the scriptures, the Bible. Okay, uh, the compilation of um, the books, you know, the word, the word Bible um, goes back to the word Biblios, which means books. Okay, you know, which were first the scrolls. We have the first five books, which makes the Torah, the Holy Torah scroll. Then you've got the other uh, scrolls, <clears throat> the right, you know, the um the uh the history the accounts okay then you've got the scrolls of the prophets you know that would make the tanakh all together and then you've got um after the prophets you've got uh the the accounts of the apostles you know also how could i forget so like the psalms okay the songs you know the proverbs right then you've got the um you've got uh the Gospels, you've got the letters to the churches, okay, which is scripture. At first they were letters, but they are scripture. You've got the Revelation, you know. So all of these various writings come together in one book written within and without, okay, known as the Bible. And it said it was sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. Because... It was sealed with seven seals because it was it was hidden, okay? The understanding of the scripture was hidden, all right? Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, because you know you've got in... The spirit realm, there's the 24 elders, okay? So one of them said, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the... The father sent forth into all the earth and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Now, the lamb that had been slain is Yahweh Shai. So in the spirit world realm, <clears throat> when Yahweh Shai, um, when John is seeing this uh, vision play out, it wasn't Yahweh Shai in his glory. It was Yahweh Shai in his beaten down body. Okay, the scriptures, I believe, in the book of Zechariah tells us about that man you know there's going to be a day in the kingdom where the lord will um show us the body most likely like in a hologram fashion um a live 3d um visual of um his broken and damaged body man um um you know that they basically um violated and ended up crucifying Okay, that, that that visage 
the scriptures speak about he was marred more than any man. There's actually going to be a day in the kingdom when we see, you know, you may wonder, oh, I'll, there's that, um, there's that stupid Christian song. I'll never know how much it cost to see my sins upon the cross. Well, that's, that's, that's bullshit. You know, I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins upon the cross. Here I am to worship. Them bullshit songs, man. It's like you want to forget that, that church shit, but sometimes <laughs> it's the flesh, man. Sometimes them stupid songs. Or if you've got family members that's active Christians, you hear that bullshit. But that's a nonsense song. You, you know, we will know how much it costs, man. We are going to see the, the very image of our sins upon the cross. Because according to the scriptures, we will see what it looked like, man. We're going to see that body of Yahweh Shai. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Right. You know. Um, so, when Yahweh Shai took the book out of the hand of the Father. All right. To loose the seals, a.k.a. to make it available Onto the elect, okay, because that's who the scriptures are for, the elect, right? He he did that in his beaten down body. So the the uh the slain lamb is the battered body of Yahweh Shai. So the truth is accessible because of the cru the crucifixion and the resurrection of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay, so he took it out of the hand of the Father who sat upon the throne. Okay. You know. So um I could read more on that, but I hit the point. Uh, this is the book of First Corinthians chapter six, verse twelve. All things are lawful unto me, uh but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will but I will not be brought under the power of any. Hold on a second, there me, is this the one I want? Hmm. Maybe not at a price. Let's see. I thought I had it on deck. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'll put it here on... Pretty sure. Oh, it's 6 and 20. Ah, I see. So I care about that. Um, First Corinthians 6 and 20. And it says, For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify the Father in your body and in your spirit, which are the Father's. Yeah, because we are bought at a price, and the price was the blood of Yahweh Shai, man. This, this wisdom, knowledge, and... Uh, this this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, the hundred percent of it, dare I say, was bought at a price, man. Okay, so we're to glorify the heavenly Father in our body, and in your spirit, which are the Father's, because Yahweh Shai glorified the Father in his body and spirit. Okay. He testified of the truth. And then um, he was the sacrifice. You know, so there we have it, man. This truth is accessible, and we and 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 um, there's a there's a cost to it, man, which is the sacrifice of our Lord. So we gotta take this thing seriously, man. And is it that amount, man? Shalom.